Hey guys, Ted Bogert here. Welcome back to Mortgage Matters. It's Monday, September 25th, last Monday of the month and of the quarter. If you can believe it, we're about to get into a new month and a new quarter, fourth quarter of 2023. Lots going on in the mortgage world and who better to bring it to you than my bestie, the CEO of Homelandia Mortgage Group, Lawrence Heisler. What's up, buddy? How are you doing today? Ted, how are you, my man? Happy Monday. Monday, baby. It's a Monday some, all day, right? Um, Monday all day. We got some cooler weather this weekend. It was nice, yeah, man. It, it I can was, feel the fall in the air. I know. It was really nice. And I'm not, it's not like a hot box when you open the door to go outside. So I'm looking forward to a little cooler weather. I'm looking forward to the last quarter. Um, and a lot of people, mortgage is on the mind, right? You just keep hearing all this stuff about what programs, new programs, trying to figure out how to maneuver through our crazy real estate world. Uh, so let's let's dive, let's talk. Um, tell them a little bit about Homelandia though, because we have two sides and we're gonna talk about something from both sides today. Yeah, absolutely. So we have Homelandia Mortgage Group, which is our mortgage company. We are a mortgage brokerage business. Um, we're growing. So if you happen to be a loan officer or you're even an agent listening in on the show today and you know a, a good loan officer, that would be a good fit for us. We are growing and we've got so many great tools that we're offering loan officers just to go out and crush it in this, even in this tough market. Um, so we'd love to talk to you more about that. Uh, so Homelandia Mortgage Group is our mortgage company. And then we also have Homelandia the franchise company. So we started that in order to be able to offer uh, real estate brokerages or top producers or even builders or loan officers the chance to own their own mortgage company. And it would be a, a Homelandia mortgage company as well. So um, as as the, the, the market starts to shift, we're going to see uh, the mortgage folks getting really busy again. And, uh, you know, those that are going to be able to purchase one now are going to be in a perfect position for when rates drop because we're we know that we're going to see a huge boom especially in the refinance market then so so that's sure. the two two that we're offering <laughs> those are the two those are the two so let's let's talk about the franchise since that's where we kind of left off let's talk about franchise why a franchise give us a little history and why is it different um when i try to ex when i explain it to people people are like huh i never thought about that or I didn't know you could do that. So in this, in our world, what, why would a franchise be uh, an excellent idea to have? Sure. So most agents are, are either taught or they understand in business that it's great to have additional revenue streams. And as we know, the real estate agent, when they capture that client, they're capturing a big pool of, of profit centers, if you will, in that one transaction, you know, you've got title, you got mortgage, you got the real estate commission, you've got homeowners insurance, you got moving. There's a lot of pockets of opportunity there. So, so a lot of these agents have recognized this. They've done their own uh, profit share through their business. Um, and they've looked for other, other opportunities to create additional revenue streams. So, um, Homelandia is exactly that. Now, what happens is a lot of a lot of these guys will join up with a lender on what we call a JV, a joint venture, or an MSA, uh, where they're gonna they're gonna get marketing money each month or rental agreements. So you see little versions of opportunities, revenue streams for these agents, but they are not maximizing it. There's there's a couple big problems with this, Ted. Number one is that they are skirting a lot of RESPA issues. We just had a big real estate company and mortgage company that were joint venturing together that got got nailed by uh, the, 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 the powers to be and, and shut them down, fined them uh, heavily. So it's just a scary proposition to, you know, for some, the, the thought of losing their own business for, you know, what, what equates to a little extra money with, with these joint ventures probably isn't really worth it. Agreed. Um, the other thing is, is just being able to control the, 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 the client and the business and know where they're going. So many realtors today, you know, they rely on whoever to pre-approve their clients. And then, 
you know, they have communication issues, they have problems with closing. So being able to partner with, or, or actually to own a mortgage company where you know who your loan officer is, you handpick them yourself. Um, and then the, the, the biggest thing is that you can legally profit from this. There's no problem. It doesn't matter who owns the mortgage company. Whoever owns that company is the one entitled to the profits of that company. And those profits are way better than any joint venture or M any MSA is able to offer them. So when we sit down, we kind of crunch the numbers based off of what, what that real estate office might be doing or, or maybe the loan officer or the builder. Um, and they look to see what kind of profit potential there is with these franchises. It's, it's a real pleasant eye opener for them. I think it's, uh, and I love the concept too, because I feel like back in the old days, we've been around long enough. Um, everybody had a piece of the pie in some way, shape or form before the crash. Uh, you had a title joint venture, you had insurance joint ventures, you had all of this going on. And then when 2008 happened, so much of that went away and it became such a negative, which is which is why I love the idea is because there was always a way to do it. Uh, it just needs to be done right. And it needs to be done in a way that is set up correctly with all of the I's dotted and the T's crossed. Talk about why this is diff why Homelandia is different as a mortgage broker for from a franchise perspective. Sure. So that's what we set up. It's going to be a, an actual mortgage brokerage business. Um, now, the funny thing is when I talk to some agents about this and they say, well, you know, we could just open up our own. Well, good luck. It's, it's not easy. And that's part of why uh, we're so valuable to them. We're, we're going to basically take the whole entire licensing process in our own hands. We don't turn it over to the individual to do. We do it. We have a, a, a team of attorneys that handle the licensing with the state. So we can we can speed up the process tremendously and get them to where the company is open and they're starting to earn those profits right away. The mortgage brokerage model is is the cleanest model to open because it gives the owner of the company the flexibility to have multiple lenders. Um, right now with Home Lendia Mortgage Group, we, we're at about 20 lenders that we have, and we just opened up this spring. So it's it, it literally takes about a day to get approved with a lender. Um, with the lenders we have alone, we've got probably 99.9% .9 of any loan products or features out there available to our customers, if not 100%. And so, so you literally have uh, almost unlimited choices of lenders that you can partner with that you can bring on board as a as, as a lender that you send business to and um and it gives you the ability to shop for really good rates for your clients um, look at programs that sometimes aren't available um, with with just direct lenders or with banks i mean we can get super creative we can get funky on these types of loans <laughs> we're doing. we and, sure can <laughs> yeah and we're, we're doing stuff i'm like we did what like holy smokes so that's really cool. And now all of a sudden, as the real estate office or the, the real estate team or the, a bunch of top producers get together and go, why don't we own our own mortgage company? This is a great avenue for them to do that. I, I agree. Um, one of the I get asked a lot. One of the questions people bring up is, well, that's great and all, Ted, but I don't know a lot. I only know my surface from being a realtor or maybe a builder. Um, are you guys just going to, we're going to sign up and you're going to not provide us any kind of assistance or uh, any kind of guidance? Talk a little bit about the guidance part and the how we don't leave them completely hanging in the hanging in the wind. Yeah, well, that's the whole idea behind this is we don't want them to get involved if they don't want to. We understand if you're, a let's say, a, a broker um, or a top producing agent, you got your hands full and you're really good at what you do. So that's why we're going to take this. You don't even have to be licensed. You don't have to go and get your mortgage license to own a franchise. Um, we can help help you with the 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 uh, loan officer part of it as well. So being a 25 year veteran in the business, not only do I know most of the, the great loan officers in town here, um, but I also uh, uh, can uh, know what you know their comp plans are. I can speak the language with them, and and so so as 
as we help our franchises to bring on a good loan officer to help them close these loans, then um, I, I'm happy to be a part of that process as well. So, so from a knowledge standpoint, I mean, you really don't need to be involved in it. We want to be able to get it all set up for you, get a great loan officer in-house that can help you close these loans, and then just keep an eye on it from there and let you guys earn the profits. It's awesome. I love the concept. And you can go to homelendia.com for that. Obviously, you can reach out to Lawrence or Lawrence and I, and our contact information is in the comments section below. All right, let's talk a little bit about, we're going to shift. Now we're going to talk about mortgage because that's Mortgage Matters. Um, I am seeing a ton of investor interest. Uh, this market has brought out investors galore. Um, they seem, they definitely are a little more seasoned and they know what they're getting into. So this type of market sometimes is where they flourish. Uh, so let's talk about what we can offer. One of the products is DSCR. Um, which is debt service coverage ratio. Aren't we all proud that Ted knew what that stood for? Ooh. Because I know <laughs> I practiced it a lot before we went live. Uh, but DSCR is just one of the avenues. Uh, talk a little bit about that and talk about investors because that is a very specific type of buyer. They have the seasoning, they have the knowledge, they know what money they have. I mean, I love working with investors and I love this particular product. Hey, Sherry. Sherry Sanders Smith just came on board. Hey, Sherry. Oh, hi, Sherry. How are you? Um, so, so, so here's the cool thing. Uh, there, there's a lot of really great uh, home shows on TV these days. And so we have a, a lot of people that are very interested or have started to get into investing in the properties, fix and flips. Um, you've got all kinds of cool stuff you can do. So, so the, the lenders um, have come up with programs to accommodate this. So the DSCR program is really cool in that the investor themselves, the person that's going to buy this property, does not need to be qualified off of their income and their debt to income ratios. They're looking at what the property is going to rent for. What is the market rent for that property? And will that market rent cover the debt? Okay, will it cover that PITI that we call the principal interest taxes and insurance? Um, and if it does, if it can, then there's loans that that investor can get to go ahead and buy that property. So this is a great program for not only first time investors that haven't set up, you know, their own investment LLC. They haven't um, they haven't filed tax returns with investment income coming in. Um, it's good. It's good for them. And it's also good for the seasoned investors who just don't have they, they don't show that much income. They, they keep things lean and mean. They don't want to pay Uncle Sam too much, um, rightfully so. And so they 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 don't show the income. But this is what they want to do. They want to buy. They want to be able to rent. They want to fix it up. They want to do you know, whatever they, whatever, whatever they plan on doing with these investment properties, this is a, one of the great tools available to help them with that. It, it really is. And if you think about it, a lot of investors, you've got your beginning one. So a lot of investors use hard money or private money uh, because it seems to be a little quicker, at least in their brains. But the reality is there's a lot of those private money companies do not take new investors. They don't like working with new investors. And this is a way for an invest, another way for an investor to get in. It's also another way for an investor to have multiple properties. There's, there's a lot of flexibility with the DSCR loan. And especially since it's focus, primary focus anyway, is the actual rental income. Uh, and it just makes it such a special product. Do you, from your perspective, uh, cause I know people are probably out there thinking, yeah, Ted, you're making it sound so easy. Uh, Lawrence, you're making it sound so easy. Is there extra, extra work involved? Is it a big, long uh, application process, a different process than applying for, say, a traditional primary home? No, not really, um, especially because we're not really diving into their income, their, you know, uh, their personal tax returns and everything. Um, of course, these days, I think people realize that, you know, if you've done a loan in the last, let's say, six, seven years, you understand that there is a lot of paperwork involved in any type of financing. So 
Um, you know, I'll never make it sound like it's simple. We, we're at the mercy of underwriters and they're the ones that right. ultimately give the okay to stroke that big check they're going to get at closing. So, um, so we're going to, we're going to abide by, you know, what they tell us to get. However, with that being said, there, that is as simple of a loan as any other loan that's out there. It's not a more difficult loan. It's not a loan where, um, where we're going to need every single paper under the, you know, under the sun to get them caught and their firstborn child to get them qualified. So yeah, it's, it's not bad. We do them all the time here. We've got a couple of our loan officers are, are, I would say experts at them. They do multiple uh, DSCR loans every month. So yeah, we're getting them closed. I love, I love it. And I think as we wrap up, I want to encourage realtors. You don't have, we're not asking you to be the pro in DSCR. We just want you to have that tool in your toolbox. We want you to know that that product's out there and, uh, and, kind of expand your horizon. I think a lot of real estate professionals are trying to reach more and different buyers. And so if you haven't dabbled in working with investors before, don't be afraid. We know the products, bring them to us and we will help your uh, buyer out. That's our job. You need to you need to just know that you can do it, that there is a product out there and multiple types of products for investors dscr is just one of my favorites honestly i just think it's so good yeah and we've got a lot of other options out there too for similar things like like the fix and flip this is a great loan this is specifically for somebody that wants to buy a property fix it up and sell it right away um a lot of realtors know that every mortgage lender out there looks for at least a six month commitment on the payments um, this is an exception to that. This is one where we don't need that six months. We can, if they can buy it and fix it up in two weeks and sell it, then we're good to go. Um, it's an alternative to hard money or private private equity money. Um, they tend to be super expensive, a lot of points, you know, higher interest rates. This one is, is a is a is a cheaper alternative to that. Um, we also have the bank statement loan programs we're doing a lot of. Um, where we can use someone's bank deposits that they make. Again, self-employed people, a lot of times they're bringing in a lot of money, but they're also having a lot of expenses. Well, this allows us to use that money they're bringing in to qualify them. Um, so, so these are just a few of the programs that we're seeing um, that are really popular today, especially with investors. We're seeing a lot of creative things going on with buying and, you know, Airbnb and, and you know, vacation rental properties. And um, it's a, it's still a hot market. So um, that's something we'd love to help, you know, any, any of our listeners, clients with. Agreed. Agreed. All right, Lawrence, what's the best way they can reach you? What's your preferred method of them getting in touch with you? Yeah, I mean, my cell number is 407-448-3303. Um, I know they can reach out to you if they want to get my cell number as well. Um, that's usually the best way, either call or shoot me a text. And then, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, look up anything on the company, or if you have a borrower that needs to get pre-approved, you can go to Homelandia mortgage group.com. Um, it's got a spot right there to apply. It's an easy, great application for our clients. They finish it up in about six or seven minutes. They'll have the application completed. Um, we're doing same day pre-approvals right now, Ted. So if you got a um, you know, any of you agents have a, a ready to go hot and heavy client. They want to go see properties tonight. Get them with us. We're going to get uh, the application, get some documents. We'll have them on the road with a nice, uh, clean pre-approval letter for you guys tonight. Right. That's right. So if you guys have questions, too, or you want a topic talked about uh, from the pro Lawrence Heisler, uh, just reach out to me or reach out to Lawrence. I love it. I learned a lot. I learned something new every time, Lawrence. So thank you. We'll be back. Uh, usually Mondays is when we do this, but scheduling is always crazy, but we will do it once a week. Uh, and we really want to encourage you to, especially our real estate, our realtor partners and friends, uh, get educated, learn what the products are, that at least what they are out there, and then let us do the heavy lifting when you have buyers. Uh, so thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. We'll see you, you guys. Thank you. Again. Bye, everybody. Don't forget Homelandia Mortgage Group dot com and for the franchise homelandia.com we'll see you soon bye everybody